Which I think it's probably reasonable in a sense of the, the risk profiles change for SoftBank given the scale of the options, which is what the real surprise is. You know, the market cap decline is in excess of 10 billion, more than the value of the options that he spent, right? So I think it's probably a little bit overdone. Uh, the second point of that is that he has still outstanding a significant $10 billion plus share buyback. So I wouldn't be surprised to see soon, if he hasn't already, SoftBank itself stepping in to buy shares. So I think the downside's probably limited from here, um, but it, it still raises lots of question marks about the strategy of the company. And there are still lots of question marks as to the nature and timing of these options as well. And I mean, how much do we know? How much have you been able to extract in terms of the positions they hold and some of the big names they're holding on to as well? Because the trajectory of these tech names going forward will determine what happens with these positions, right? Yeah, exactly. It's really difficult to know because SoftBank itself is very quiet about it. Um, what we've read is basically the press. Um, we did some analysis around uh, the op open interest in NVIDIA shares and open interest, should I say, in, in NVIDIA options. And that implies they put on the trade around the middle of August at a 500 um, strike price at the bottom end and the top end is 600 yen, $600, sorry. So implying that SoftBank thought that a 20% upside was possible for NVIDIA. And we presume it's happened for the other stocks as well. Um, and that gives us some insight, but exact details we don't really know. And that's the hard part about this. Um, I think, you know, one other question we'd ask ourselves is why do we know about this right now? And it appears that the press are probably being leaked by SoftBank potentially. And normally this can occur because it helps fuel other people buying the same trade. It, it helps to exacerbate their gains potentially. All good if the markets are great, but when it goes the other direction, it goes the other direction even more so, unfortunately. Okay.